Hi viewers, uh, thanks for watching my other videos. Th th this time I'm here with uh, some very interesting VBA videos and let's see uh, if Excel uh, can talk to you and uh, can say good morning or good afternoon to you whenever you are opening the Excel. Let's see an example and then we will see how it works. Let's see what happens. Okay, so when I open the spreadsheet, a message box appeared uh, saying good afternoon Mr. X. Let's see what functions and what features I'm using and forcing Excel to display this message whenever this spreadsheet is open and who were open this spreadsheet. So if you go to your file menu and then options in the left hand side the top of one option is the journal and you can see there is a field called username and this field is automatically filled in if you are on your work computer with your name or initials uh, but you can obviously rename it as for example we, we say this is James Bond apply the settings let's close the workshop so now let's see what happened after changing the name. Okay, so it says good afternoon James Bond. So whenever you are sharing your uh, spreadsheets and this is very very common practice in uh, 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 small or big organizations they share uh, the spreadsheets across the team whoever opens uh, that spreadsheet will have their own name in this username box over here so whenever they open the spreadsheet a message will appear saying good afternoon or good evening or good morning with their name instead of your name so we are going to uh, do some programming in VBA to see how this works. So let's see how this code uh, looks like. So let's see how this code works, how we can uh, force Excel to display this message whenever the workbook is open. Uh, we are going to open a blank Excel spreadsheet. And uh, let's see what name do we have in uh, the username field over here. So we have James Bond, okay, that's fine. To open Excel workbook, um, Visual Basic Editor, go to Developer and click on Visual Basic and you can see uh, the Visual Basic Editor is open. Uh, it, it can be worked on the worksheet level or on the workbook level. There are different events on the worksheet and workbook. So we double click on the workbook and we can see a working area uh, on this side go to workbook and these are the events when you want to run your code on so we want to run our code on when the workbook will be opened first time okay so to start with we will simply display a message first and then we will add uh, further uh, code uh, to see how a different time scales works and how uh, it will pick up the username uh, so let's display a message only and that's it it's that's straightforward just MSG box quotation mark good afternoon and then go to Excel save your file I'm going to save on desktop and uh, uh, remember to save it as macro enabled workbook and we call it test2 for example and save okay let's see this is test2 and you see, can see this symbol that suggests this is a macro enabled workbook okay good afternoon that's very straightforward now let's add the name the username of uh, the Excel user go to developer again visual basic 
and you can see your code over here just put some spaces plus to concatenate two texts application dot user name and that's it see and go to excel save your work close it and let's see if it says good afternoon plus the username okay so good afternoon James Bond and whenever uh, the user whoever the user is uh, when open this file they will see their name instead of your name uh, using that uh, that username property and for the working people that field is automatically filled in with their name or initials okay so now let's continue and uh, do some more coding and see if Excel uh, can pick up whether it is morning uh, afternoon or evening so we are going to develop it again Visual Basic and we already have our code over here that is picking up uh, that says uh, good afternoon and the username but it will always say the good afternoon whether it's morning or it's evening so if we want to change that we want Excel to pick up uh, the time whether it is morning or evening so let's see if we can ask Excel to consider time before flashing the message whenever this workbook is opens to do this we are going to use the system timing over here and ask Excel to see what's the time as it is uh, at, at present and then flash this message depending on the time to do um, we are going to use a simple uh, function called now so what this function does actually this function check the system times and display as it is date and time and we are going to do we are going to extract the hour in that time so for example the hour time is 1 42 p.m. we are going to pick up that one from that whole time so we are going to have a variable let's create a variable uh, call current time for example as integer I'm going to do some comments as well so that anyone who is seeing the code understand uh, the purpose of the line and then C time is equal to this is an, another function which will extract the hour only from the time and now so what is happening over here this hour function is extracting the hour value from the current time and storing it into C time so C time at present hold the value 1 if we see the current time that is 143 and uh, C times only going to hold the hour of that whole time using this hour function so we have used two functions hour and now both returns the time in different formats okay now let's see uh, if we can ask Excel to consider time we have to use if statement if the C time uh, another thing to remember I'm going to do some uh, comments again here our function returns the hour value in 24 hour format okay so it is 144 p.m. means in 24 hour it is 13 p.m. it is 13 when it will be 2 o'clock it will be 14 when it will be 3 o'clock it will be 15 and so on so if let's say if the current time so this is the current time is greater than 5 and less and the current time less than 
12 then it should be a good morning plus the username and then we just simply copy and paste the code and change the numbers so if the current times value is greater than and equal to 12 but less than 17 17 mean 5 then it should display a message saying good afternoon and if this current value in the current time is greater than 17 and less than or equal to 24 the system will say good evening okay these are the three conditions uh, the Excel will consider the time and decide what message to display let's see if it if this works so at present it is 1 46 p.m. that means uh, the C time value uh, C time variable will have 13 in it and 13 fall somewhere in this condition so it should say good afternoon and the username let's save it close spreadsheet and open the spreadsheet again okay so good afternoon James Bond very good now let's see if the code really works by changing uh, the time value so if we change the time for example uh, let's see if we can change the time to for example 6 o'clock in the evening so that is 1800 hours so we are going to do 6 o'clock okay change here it is 6 47 p.m. but the hour is 6 so it will return 18 now let's check our code okay so good evening James Bond the so Excel is considering time before uh, flashing the message so if the time will be somewhere in the morning it will say good morning and the username and good afternoon plus the username or good evening plus the username depending what the time is and obviously you can maintain this field options general settings it's very very simple. here is it and here is the name option you can uh, again uh, for work people this name will be automatically completed and they will have their names or initials in it but uh, for a personal computers you can change it uh, as you want it to be okay and again developer and visual basic here is our code you can see and uh, the people who know the coding uh, can simply copy paste and uh, can uh, can uh, can see and uh, the, the beginners can simply copy paste in visual basic editor and the code will work for them we can add some further comments for this is for morning this is for afternoon and this is for evening so comments are just for the purpose of information uh, they do not have any effect on the coding itself this code can be uh, improved and much more features can be added but uh, just for simplicity we are going to stop over here and uh, finish our code so I like the video and uh, this is this is the very first visual basic video and I'm going to do many more interesting videos so please subscribe so that you can find the new video whenever uh, it's uploaded. Thanks for watching.